so welcome to my channel i think i've always wanted to say that uh, maybe not always but yeah it feels good to be able to say that okay so let's get right into it um what if you could control an entire mixing board like uh, your audio mixers with just natural voice like you don't have to um, be taking the faders you know that's what uh, most musicians complain about uh, sound engineers that they they love to they're always touching something they're always touching something and so what if you didn't have to touch something uh, you could just control the mixer by speaking to it using natural language and that's what i'm here to show you today that yeah it's very possible uh, so take a ride with me check mute channel one so as you can see, um, channel 1 is muted and I don't have to always even say the channel, no. you know sometimes you have this labeling like channel 1, my own channel 1 is the kick. So I can equally say, check, on mute kick. Yeah, as you can see, um, it are muted, yeah, just straight and easy. Uh, you can also do, uh, what's the name, solo, it also works for solo. Like I can say, uh, my snare is on channel 2, I can just say, check, solo channel 2. And immediately I have the channel 2 soloed. I can decide to use the name and not use channel, I can just say snare. Uh, if you look at the scribbling, you see uh, I labeled it snare, snare is channel 2. So, um, or I can say clear solo, check, clear solo. Yeah, that removed um, all, all the solo, all the channels that were soloed. And also, yeah, you can see just with natural language. I didn't have to, these are my hands, I didn't have to touch anything. You can see the video of the mixer, uh, mm -hmm. nobody's uh, touching anything, nobody's controlling it. Uh, so, basic channel con controls work with both numbers and instrument names. The system automatically maps your channel labels. Um, I can also do voice voice control. It's not just uh, muting and solo. You can also do voice control. Like I can say, check. Increase fader on snare by 5 dB. Did you see that? Um, the snare fader moved on. Uh, let's, let's do it again. First, let me select and kick. Check. Select kick. You will see the kick selected. Select button and kick. That's it. Then let me increase uh, the fader. Let me increase it by 10 dB. Check. Increase kick by 10 dB. So just watch this fader. Did you say it? By 10 dB. Uh, yeah, so you can do that with just voice. Uh, and then instead of even saying, oh, increase reduce, I can say, check. Turn down kick. So I have a default, if I do not give um, a precise um, volume that I want, I just have like a 3, 3 dB uh, reduction, increase and reduction, uh, whenever you ask for um, increase or for it to be reduced. Then you can also have, uh, there are times that you don't want to be uh, tweaking on one channel, you want to tweak like uh, multiple channels, so I can say like um, check solo drum channels and then you see all the drum channels are soloed i have the drum i have the kick the snare bottom snare top tom one tom two um side tom all select highlighted if you also see you have the talking drum also um soloed so all of the drum channels um as a natural language i didn't have to do anything so let's clear the the solos check clear solo and it's all cleared so you can do it for um, single channels you can have multiple channels i can say okay instead of drums i've been using an example of drums let me use just toms which is part of the drums check solo tom channels as you can see just the tom channels are soloed we have the um, you have the high tom, mid tom, low tom, and then the floor tom. Just the tom channels are soloed. Yeah. 
So that is a multi-channel operation. I can also increase all of them at the same time and then equally reduce. Um, I can decide to increase all drum channels by 5 dB. Yeah. Check. Increase drum channels by 5 dB. So look at the faders. The faders all went up by 5 um, dB. I can, yeah. You can also reduce. You can, I'm using drums because I don't want to have to be um, changing, um, changing the the sections. So uh, let's try some advanced commands. We've done with some basic. We already did some basic commands. Let's try some advanced commands. Uh, I think we've used drums enough. Let's try to use the. Let's try to use the bass. Okay. So check. Select bass. Okay. So um, the bass guitar is now selected. Um, my bass is currently connected to a DI box. DI box uses a uh, plus 48 phantom power. It's currently on. Let's turn it off. Check. Turn off phantom power on bass. As you can see, the phantom power is off. And then if I do not want to say bass, the bass is on channel 10. Um, can do check turn on phantom power on channel 10 yeah so there are times you know the instrument name but you don't know the exact channel number so you can uh, interchange you can use any um, also we have uh, we have the gates the equalizer and uh, the compressor um, i think i should just point out where they are on the on the mixer so you see so you have, I've disabled the touch on my mixer, so the touch is not working. Um, I'm using a mouse. So this is where the gate is. This is for the EQ, and this is um, for the compressor. They are currently, they are currently on, all on. Uh, let's see, if we can turn them off using just a natural, natural language. Okay. So we are still on base channel ten. Check. Turn off EQ on base. As you can see the EQ lights went off. Yeah, so let's um, turn off the compressor. Check. Turn off compressor on base. Okay, we can see that also went off um, the gate. Let's turn off the gate. Check. Turn off gate on base. So you can see the gate is off. So let's turn back the the EQ. Check. Turn on EQ on base. Yeah. So that's to show that even we can also um, run advanced commands just using a just using our voice. Hands free. These are my hands. <laughs> can see. Yeah. Okay. So next, um, I'll be showing you. I'll be showing you. There are times when you have like a blank channel. Uh, which one can I use? Let me select. Um, let me select guitar. Check. Select guitar. Okay. So my guitar channel has been selected. Um, but instead of guitar there, I want to load um, a preset for keyboard. Do you understand? I know most times when a new channel comes in, we have to start labeling. I have to start uh, doing EQ settings. Doing it takes a lot of time. For I'm sure engineers will know what I'm talking about. So you can just um, with your voice, you can just load the preset uh, easily. Uh, let's do it. Check. Load keyboard preset. So uh, if you can see, the name has changed to uh, keyboard. Uh, I have um, a default EQ for keyboard, just like that, just in my voice. I was able to change um, that preset to to uh, keyboard. It was formerly on guitar now, but it's, uh, it's keyboard. I didn't have to start um, typing keyboard, doing doing all of all that, yeah, easily. Uh, that's another advanced command, all with natural language, all with my voice. Thank you. Okay, so we are back to our reliable kick. Uh, when showing you the basic settings, then I did not include uh, the gain. So now I would show you 
how to increase or reduce uh, gain. So, but gain depends on the source. So, if you have your source from your stage box or you're using the onboard uh, inputs, then you would have um, gain. But if you're using digital inputs, um, like uh, your USB from a laptop, from a system, from a computer, like a multi track and all, you would have trim instead. So, that's the difference. So, for here now, I had to switch to show this feature. I had to switch to multi track setup so that I can send signal. And so that's why you can see trim. And so um, to increase the gain on the trim, you can just say check increase gain on kick. And so you see from um, zero, it went up to plus three. Like I said, I have a default of uh, three dB. If um, I do not specify, um, so let me specify check increase gain on kick by two dB. So as you can see, it increased from three to five. I can also decrease. Check. Decrease gain on kick by 5 dB. So you can see, we removed 5 dB and that uh, turned it to zero. Yeah, so again, it's not like you have to uh, cram any command or anything. No, uh, the system understands uh, the intent. You can just, like you're speaking to, to your mixer. Say, for instance, um, you want to see um, the kick, let's say, uh, which is the loudest now the snare bottom is too loud uh, i can just say check snare bottom is too loud and you can see you brought it down but like i said i have a default of uh, 3 db if i'm not precise on how much to reduce or i um, increase is the default of 3 db i can say oh check snare bottom is still too loud and you see a further um reduction of the of the snare button so yes i can also say um check i want to monitor tom channels so as you can see the tom channels is just it is not the entire drum the tom channels are, are soloed so that i can monitor um check clear solo clear solo or like i did before when i wanted to hear um just drums i can say Check. I want to hear just drums. You can see all of the drum channels uh, are soloed so that you can hear, hear the engineer. Of course, you want solo. So instead of having to solo one by one, uh, or you now be flipping and looking for um, what's the name, the your boss boss sends to solo, you can just see it and all of the channels. So you know you have to change page. Maybe you have um, like some other drum channels in in another page this just does it for you automatically yeah by listening to you okay so let's clear solo check clear solo okay so all of the solos are cleared natural those are my hands <laughs> that is in there okay so in just a few minutes we've demonstrated complete mixer control using uh, nothing but but voice just your voice hands free um, I didn't need to touch, even to select channels, I didn't need to touch. You could turn on your EQs, turn on your compressor, you could even turn on Phantom. Phantom, if you're using your hand, you would have to hold on for a couple of seconds, but with your voice, is almost instant. Uh, I hope you've learned something today, or you've seen something today. If, uh, possibilities are endless. Possibilities are endless. Uh, working on feature, directly controlling frequencies of, uh, of each channel. And um, yeah, that's the next step. I would also be showing that in uh, subsequent videos. So if you're interested, just um, comment, um, please like, share. Um, let's have um, even broader discussions. And um, I was able to use Wings because that's uh, the mixer available to me. Uh, I'm sure you should also be able to work with um, several other mixers. So if you're also looking to collaborate, um, please, you can also reach me. Feel free to comment. Uh, I would very much interested in doing that. So thank you for your time. Thank you for staying tuned. See you on the next. Take care.